Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I figured I'd talk about something like one of many different theories set out as far as like progression and the creation of life kind of thing goes. Today, as the title implies, I'm going to be talking about the theory of evolution, which if you haven't learned about it yet or you don't know what it is or you've forgotten, it's basic. the idea is that it's a scientific theory that talks about how a species of animal or plant or whatever it might be changes over a given period of time. The most common one that is well known is actually the human race, which apparently developed from like an ape, which there's a reason it's called a theory. There's, I mean, there, maybe there's some aspects out there that scientists have used to prove that I just don't, I didn't bother to look too much into just because that's not the point of this video in the first place. However, I figured, eh, might as well talk about it, give my own thoughts on it, just First of all, I want to point out that I don't actually believe in this theory. I find it very interesting because it may, it expands the mindset to a degree, but I don't actually believe it. Um, it, fe it feels just way too obscure for it to be the case. Um, but I, I, I think one of the things that kind of pinpoint this particular theory is the idea that I know that for a fact that there have been some tests done on like different breeds of monkeys or apes uh, where they'll be tested on knowledge and they'll pretty much be about as knowledgeable as a baby is. Or not a baby, but maybe a child, which is kind of interesting to think about. But I think it's more of like, because the way they go about it, it's not like these thought process of people typing anything that so it, they probably have the smarts of like a hmm, I'd say a toddler who doesn't know how to like write yet or anything or doesn't understand very much yet I think that's the best way to analyze it I guess but the idea of evolution to a specific degree can make sense but I don't think it's kind of how things developed from the start this is one of several theories that um, kind of implemented in my mind. Uh, the theory of evolution, it would make sense if it was talking about other aspects. Like maybe not full on genetic evolution, maybe like partial to a degree. Like, for example, say human race has always been the human race kind of thing, but they've developed to match the scenery they're in a bit more rather than completely change appearance and just their genes completely change like for example say i don't know the human race um starts living around water more often to the point where their genes will our genes would develop to be able to start surviving underwater longer. Not to, like, grow gills or anything to breathe. That's not what our genes are built to do. But to, like, be able to, for one, hold breath underwater a bit longer or something. I don't know. It's just kind of an idea. I think like the theory on its own the original idea was kind of a stretch but it has like a concept that makes a lot of sense i guess a good example that's more realistic that has basically already happened can be cordon temperature as many people who are knowledgeable about it knows the human body the bloodstream has it's always one very specific temperature or at least that's how it started but observing things, I've kind of noticed that depending on the individual, the blood, the body temperature can be a bit different, which means the blood is either hotter or colder, depending on the person. And I feel like this is just kind of where you live is what kind of processes this. Now, maybe this theory has already been presented and I haven't heard of it yet or something, but it 
the idea on its own does kind of present where the theorem of evolution would come in the first place. It's But if it was more realistic and it went about it that kind of way, where body temperature change, it, it, it developed to match the temperature of the area you're living in, then sure, that would make a lot more sense. But the theory that it would... Uh, completely change genes overall that's where it feels like a little bit of a stretch but i don't know this is personal opinion maybe some of you out there actually do believe in the theory of evolution if so teach their own i personally don't um i don't have a specific theory that i actually do believe in quite frankly there's a belief i have but i'm leaving that off the channel that's honestly in my opinion for me to know and for me only to know outside of those who are actually know me personally like my family pink fox aaron uh people like that but outside of that i think my own personal opinion on, on that like my personal beliefs are going to stay on mute anyway i'm gonna leave this here what are your guys' opinion on uh the theory of evolution let us know in the comments below Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos like this click the link on the side of my head where you'll find over 200 at this point um, not quite floating your boat, why not check the link on the other side where you'll find something that YouTube might think you might enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this uh, video, guys, and we hope to catch you all in another. See you guys later.